this is Sir Mars and you are watching lectures ni Sir Mars. So in this video, ang didiscuss natin ay about sa pagkuha ng area using the coordinates ng ating polygon. This is a topic from the analytic geometry. So kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe sa aking channel, please subscribe now no para updated ka sa aking mga bagong lectures. Okay, so let us now discuss. So paano ba natin makukuha yung area ng isang polygon kung given lamang yung kanyang coordinates. So, first, no, all we have to do is we have to arrange the vertices ng ating polygon in a counterclockwise sense. Okay? So, for example, we have here a polygon at gusto nating makuha yung kanyang area at ang given lamang ay ang kanyang mga coordinates ng ating mga vertices. Okay? So, for example, given na nga yung ating mga coordinates ng ating vertices. So, for example, x1, y1 is yung ating first point, point 1. x2, y2 is yung ating second point, point 2. Then, x3, y3 is point 3. Then, p4, point 4. Then, this is point 5. This is point 6. And this is point 7. So, kung gusto nating makuha, guys, yung ating area gamit yung mga coordinates na given, all we have to do is, i-arrange natin itong mga points na to in a counterclockwise manner. So, so paano ba yung pag, uh, ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng counterclockwise manner? Kasi, ang ating formula dito, guys, is one half, then, ilalagay natin siya na parang matrix, okay? So, bali, guys, yung ating unang uh, point dito is yung ating point one, or kahit anong point dyan, okay? Basta ang susunod dito dapat is yung katabing point in a counterclockwise no manner. So, kung point 1 yung ating start, yung ating susunod is point 2. Hindi dapat point 7 yung inyong next, guys, no? Kasi, mamamali tayo ng sagot. So, bali, guys, point 1, point 2 yung next. So, ito na nga yun. Then, point 3, then point 4, then point 5, point 6, point 7. All we need to do is to arrange that absisa muna yung nasa taas, tapos ordinate yung nasa baba. So, x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3, x4, y4, x5, y5, x6, y6, x7, y7, tapos take note, sa last, kailangan mong ulitin kung ano yung sinimulan mong coordinate. Okay? That is, ang purpose niyan is para mag-close nga yung ating polygon. Okay? So, ngayon, kapag natapos na tayo dyan, guys, no, all we need to do is kunin yung determinant. No, parang pagkuha lang ng determinant ng ating matrix. So, all we have to do is multiply this, yung mga pa-slant down, okay? multiply, tapos isa-sum up natin yan, then yung pa-up naman, yung slant up, pa ganyan. Okay? So, uh, anyway, so mag-example tayo para mas maintindihan nyo guys yung ating concept ng pagkuha ng area using the coordinates. Okay, so let us solve this problem. Find the area of a triangle whose vertices are point A is negative 3, negative 1, point B is 5, 3, and point C is 2, negative 8. So, my given na choices, so all we have to do is to solve this problem. So, given yung tatlong vertices na coordinates, kailangan na natin kunin yung ating area. Okay? So, let us now solve this problem. Okay, so, ang una natin gagawin, of course, is kailangan muna natin i-plot yung ating mga points. Okay? So, una, i-plot muna natin si negative 3, negative 1, that is point A, and that point is point na yun. So, this is point A and this is negative 3, negative 1. Next is, i-plot natin si point B which is 5, 3. So, positive, positive. Ibig sabihin, nasa quadrant 1 yan. So, 5, 3 is here. So, this is point B and this is 5, 3. Next is point C and that is 2, negative 8. Nasa quadrant 4 ito. So, 2, negative 8. So, this is the point C. So, ngayon, all we need to do is i-connect natin itong tatlong points na ito. So, bali guys, yung ating first line, AB, is ito. Next, second line natin ay ito. Okay. So, ayun. So, ito na nga yung tinutukoy na triangle guys ng ating problem. Okay. So, all we need to do now is kailangan natin i-arrange nga itong ating mga coordinates in a counterclockwise manner. Okay. So, para sa ating formula, para sa area, so madali lang. So, bali guys, the area is equal to 1 half. Tapos, ilalagay natin ito sa matrix, no? So, yung ating first point, guys, is point A, no? So, dito tayo magsa-start sa point A, pero actually, kahit saan ka mag-start, okay lang. 
So, yung ating paglalagay dito guys is abscissa muna tapos ordinate sa baba. Negative 3, negative 1. Next is take note counterclockwise yung arrangement. Tapos, ibig sabihin, kung nag-start tayo kay point A, si point C dapat yung ating next kasi nga counterclockwise man yung arrangement. So, ne next is na point is 2, negative 8. Then, next, next na point natin is 5, 3. Then, of course, mag end tayo by writing the first point na sinulat natin kanina. Okay? So, ngayon, no, all we have to do is to compute. So, 1 half. Tapos, again, i-multiply natin to guys. So, eto. So, negative 3 times negative 8. This is positive 24. Tapos, multiply natin ito. That is 2 times 3 is 6. So, plus 6. Then, ito. This is 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. Then, minus yung upward naman. So, ito. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Tapos, ito. Negative 8 times 5 is negative 40. Tapos, ito. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Okay? So, bali ang mangyari dito is 1 half 25 minus negative 2, negative 40, negative 9 that is negative 51 so 25 minus negative 51 okay so bali guys ang mangyayari this is 1 half 76 so bali guys 1 half times 76 is 38 and this is in square units so the area na hinahanap natin dito is 38 square units so the answer in the problem is letter B that is 38 square units. So, ayun. So, again, the answer is letter B, that is 38 square units. If this lecture has helped you, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, you can comment below or send your questions to my Facebook page, Lectures Knees from Mars. I will paste the link in the video description. You can also download the PDF of my lectures and PDF references for civil engineering by visiting my site. The link is also in the video description. Thank you again, guys. Once again, this is Sir Mars, and see you in the next lecture.